During the early morning hours of Friday, August 5th, 1949, 15-year-old Thelma A. Taylor was kidnapped in the St. John's area of Portland, Oregon. Her captor then ended up taking away her young life. Today, a ghost story directly involving this young lady continues to swirl around the Portland area as well as on the internet. The basics of this ghost story is that Thelma Taylor was kidnapped and then murdered in Cathedral Park, which lies directly underneath the St. John's Bridge, where she is said to haunt it to this very day. If one were to search online regarding this haunting, you would find stories of how people hear her screams in the park during the summer nights. She supposedly can be heard asking or begging for help. Stories also state that Thelma had been raped and was held and tortured for several days by her kidnapper. You may also come across news footage of a psychic medium or two who claim to speak with her ghost under the bridge, or who have said they have crossed her over. Back in 2007 and 2008, a paranormal investigative group that I helped create did extensive research into this haunting. Our group was called the Northern Woods Paranormal Research and Investigations, or better known as TNW. Our group was even interviewed and featured in an October 2008 issue of a Portland, Oregon newspaper regarding our investigation of this haunting. Although TNW has since dispersed, I still retain all of our copies of the official documents from the City of Portland's archives, as well as our published findings that were posted on our website, not to mention pictures of us digging deep into the soil to uncover her sunken grave. During the early morning hours of Friday, August 5, 1949, 15-year-old Thelma Taylor left her home around 4.15 a.m. to meet with her friend Janet Donaldson. They were to join with others to take a picker's truck that would take them to Hillsboro, Oregon on a bean-picking trip. Later that morning, Janet Donaldson called Thelma's parents to notify them that their daughter never showed up at her home, and so the search for Thelma began. During Thelma's walk to her friend's house, a man named Morris Leland lured Thelma into his stolen car around 4.15 a.m. Friday morning. He then forced her into the brush of a 6x6 six six glade and held her captive for more than 24 hours before killing her at 8 a.m. Saturday, August 6, 1949. Leland admitted to stabbing her twice, once in the chest and once on her side. He said he smoked three or four packs of cigarettes that neatly removed some evidence, such as his cigarette butts, the steel bar, and the knife. He then walked about 300 feet and threw them into the river. Morris Leland was found guilty of murder and was executed on January 9, 1953. The method of execution was gas. The following points are crucial to this paranormal investigation. Thelma Taylor was not held for several days while being beat and tortured. If one picks up a copy of the Oregonian dated August 12, 1949, you will read that she was actually murdered just a little over 24 hours after she was kidnapped. The Oregonian newspaper clearly states that Morris Leland led detectives to her body. The location was about 1,000 feet from North Edison Street near St. John's Avenue. One only needs to go visit that exact area and can see right from that area that she was not killed anywhere near the bridge. The standard certificate of death for Thelma A. Taylor, dated August 15, 1949, states where she was killed, which was, quote, in brush about eight blocks north St. John's Bridge, unquote. Besides the internet and local rumors, there is absolutely no documented evidence that Thelma was raped. However, it should be noted that Morris Leland's trial transcripts are missing, so complete confirmation cannot be made in totality. Also, due to the location of where Thelma Taylor was murdered, we as paranormal investigators do not believe she would haunt Cathedral Park, which is almost three football fields away from where she was killed. Regarding claims of screams in the park that are said to be coming from the ghost of Thelma Taylor, 
Please take a listen to this recording made in March of 2018 in Cathedral Park and judge for yourself. Okay, we are currently in Cathedral Park uh, right next to the bridge and this is the sounds. This is the sounds. It also should be noted that besides the noise from trucks and cars passing over the bridge directly above the park, there is an ironworks business that borders the park itself, thus adding more screeching noise that can be misinterpreted as screams. We invite you to visit our website, shadowkeepers.org, to read the original paranormal investigation write-up and results, as well as view other documents related to this case.